The Human Rights Unit in Kiribati was established in 2015 with the aim to ensure improved capacity building of the general public and government agencies on human rights. Kiribati is currently a state party to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, and the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Supporting the implementation of Kiribati's human rights obligations aligns with the work of the Pacific community through its human rights program, the Regional Rights Resource Team. On the 20th of September 2016, the Ministry of Justice was formally established by the Kiribati government, which is now housing the Human Rights Unit, which includes Triple RT's country focal officer. This unique structure is first for the Pacific. Like any country that have something first, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing. And to be honest, I just find out that you know, we are the first one to have a human rights. We do understand there are countries having human rights institutions operating independently, but to have a, a human rights within a, uh, a government ministry, that is something because that shows that the government is committed to the progress of human rights. The aim of this uh, human rights uh, division, one is to ensure that the capacity building of, uh, of the general public on human rights they have to fully aware on their individual human rights. And as part of the fundamental rights on chapter two of the constitution, this is the Bill of Rights. That's a universal declaration of human rights has been uh, passed by the United Nations Council in 1948. There are actually at the moment three human rights offices. There is one principal human rights uh, principal human rights officer in total, there are four. One staff from Tripoli is myself, who is working alongside the, the, the other four government uh, staff. Since I started work in 2013, it is required of us to, to carry out what is contained in the MOU that was signed by Kiribati and the SBC Tripoli. And uh, generally, the, the work that is prescribed in that uh, MOU contains all the work around human rights where tribality is uh, required. So the program that we developed for, for, for Kiribati mainly consists of the core responsibilities around the trip, uh, treaty reporting, UPR and uh, ratification. In the first place, it was really a struggle. We, we, we were confronted with a lot of uh, traditional and conservational beliefs that uh, they cannot see human rights as a way forward towards their better way of life. It was a very hard time for us to try and convince those people to understand the importance and the the essence human rights carries. So I found out that we need to go again the second round or how many more times just to make sure that they can come to agree on in good terms with us on this uh, human rights issue. I think we are on a bit of a trail at the moment. <laughs> The thing that's most important is when the, it's part of a government development plan that we have, we have what we call the KB20, or Kiribati Vision for 20 years. And uh, some of the pillars that we highlighted, and one that we're really connected to is uh, peace and security. And other peace and security, the main or the core element of it is human rights. And, uh, through one of the things that government is trying to champion now, or Kiribati government is trying to champion on, is the anti-corruption. So those are the main areas that uh, the Human Rights Unit fits within the Kiribati uh, National Plan. The aspiration that the, the units actually have in the, in the pipelines, one is to ensure that there is a, a national human rights institution established by law. But that depends on the RRT scoping study as they are as we have agreed, and the official letter has been sent to the RRT to do that by next year. And then 
hoping that the uh, report will be submitted to cabinet and whatever the decision the cabinet may decide, then we'll take on board on the establishment on the NHRD, the National Human Rights Institution. I have uh, a strong feeling that this is one of the, the ideas that is, is good, that will help all the governments of all the Pacific Islands to be able to work more and to fulfill much of the work that is required of each state.